My name is Willem Stijbels. I uh, work for TomTom. Tom, and we're helping to enable autonomous driving by providing, first of all, our HD map, which includes a localization layer. It has uh, lane markers, what type of lane markers, center lines, the edge of the road, rail guards, traffic signs, everything that an autonomous car needs to drive in the next few hundred meters. So for HD map, we need a different localization methodology. We use road DNA. And road DNA is a smartly compressed and optimized depth map of the side of the road. It's like a film strip that's continuous next to your driving car. And by comparing that to where what the sensors see, you can actually say, OK, this is where I am on the road. The GPUs are crucial in, uh, in what we do, both in the cloud as well as in the car. So in the car, there's a lot of data to process from all of these sensors. That's best done by a GPU. Also, the correlation I was just talking about, comparing our road DNA, for example, with, with what comes out of the sensors, that's essentially comparing two pictures, which is something that GPUs are very good at. If you look at it in, in the cloud, we get so much data in that we need to minimize the human touch on processing that data, which is where uh, we use uh, NVIDIA uh, heavily as well to come up with these neural nets, train them, and then apply them both in our map making process and in the car as well. A car sees something, compares it to the map, spots a difference with the map uh, that is uploaded to the cloud, it's compared, it's processed, and you have a new piece of map. Our map making system in the cloud can update a million times a day. Every single difference leads to a publishable map that can be shared with the car. We're extremely pleased in working with NVIDIA, optimizing that cloud-to-car map platform, making sure we're ready for those you know, gigantic amounts of data uh, that are coming our way.